Can dogs help prevent invasive species from doing damage here in Maine? The Kennebunk Animal Welfare Society has been doing research to answer that question as part of, as part of a nationwide study with two universities. Pearl Small joins us now with an update to the study. Pearl? Hey Sam, New Center Maine first met with the Animal Welfare Society back in February. And that's about when leaders there first started training dogs to detect an invasive species. That study is now over and I met with them again today to find out what they say are some exciting new results. For most dog owners, taking a dog for a walk means accepting it will likely sniff everything in its path. That often involves trees and leaves, and for a few dogs in Kennebunk, an invasive species. Great opportunity for dogs that need a, need a job, for sure. For nine months now, Sarah Ash's dog, Hopper, has been sniffing eggs from spotted lanternflies. He's got it in his Rolodex of scents. Hopper first got a smell in February when Ash added him to a study at the Kennebunk Animal Welfare Society, joining a few other dogs to collect research for Texas Tech and Virginia Tech. So it gave us the opportunity to kind of potentially give back to the environment and also work with our dogs that need a little extra. When we first met Hopper and the others at the start, the study centered around one big question. Can we train those dogs? on their nightly walk to just go and do some good for the environment. Melissa McHugh McGrath is the trainer leading the dogs, and she now has some exciting results, which she shared with me by letting the dogs do what they do best. I hid the eggs outside my car, and Hopper came out nose first. <laughs> he said that was easy. Good job. The answer to the question is yes. AWS has now trained 15 dogs, inside and outside of the study, to sniff out the spotted lanternfly. Alert! Yes! <laughs> Progress McGrath believes is coming just at the right time. It is an invasive species that will decimate almost every crop it can come up against. The spotted lanternfly isn't in Maine yet, but it has spread to 17 states and is believed to be slowly moving up the northeast. We are in a unique position where we can be proactive um, and start to get it before it really gets a hold here. The fly has the ability to disrupt any ecosystem it touches, but it might be no match for these noses. Our hope is that, you know, we can start going out and sniffing if it does um, end up here. Um, that would be really cool. If every dog learns to sniff like these ones, the flies have an uphill battle ahead. Miku McGrath also says now that she has these results, she wants to look at expanding the project, potentially training the dogs to track down other invasive species in Maine, like the emerald ash borer. Sam, 